Do you have a favourite painting that resonates with you, but you don't know why? Hi, I'm Ren Rong. I'm a librarian at Library at Orchard, and you're watching a new episode of Book It Out. Book It Out is a video series where we read books and try out different arts and crafts projects and the lifestyle changes in them. Did you know that every painting in the world can be broken down into fundamental shapes and colours? And that most successful artists have an arsenal of tricks that they employ to create memorable pictures that will linger in your mind long after you've looked at them. Introducing one of my favourite books, Picture This, How Pictures Work by Molly Bang. Aimed at designers, art teachers and parents who are trying to figure out why their kid is so obsessed with a particular picture book, the premise of Picture This is to find out why the manipulation of graphical elements such as shape, size and colour are able to evoke a strong emotional response from us. In today's episode, we're going to be trying our hand at breaking down our favourite painting to find out why it makes us tick. The book starts with an exercise in portraying a key moment within the story, The Little Red Riding Hood, in a step-by-step -step manner. Using simple geometric shapes, Molly Bang shows us why shapes, colours, sizes and layouts are more effective in conveying fear and tension in a picture. Designers will find the concepts in this book familiar, but it is the novel way Molly Bang explains them by breaking them down into relatable layman terms that provides a concrete understanding of why pictures when designed with such considerations, work well to evoke the desired emotions from its viewers. One of the exercises in the book is to choose a painting that you like and translate it into an abstract composition using only rectangles, circles, triangles, and three to four colours. You can choose from a famous painting, drawing, or an illustration from your favourite picture book. For me, I chose a lithograph print of The Scream by Edvard Munch. Fun fact! Edward Munch created many versions of the screen. He made two paintings, two pastel drawings, and a lithograph stone which created this 1895 print. You will need some construction paper in three to four colours, a pair of scissors, glue, and of course a copy of your favourite painting. Hold the picture away from you and take an overview of the entire piece. Can you identify different groups of elements in the picture? I separate the print into these five groups. The sea, the deck, the men, the couple behind him, and the two ships in the background. Next, I need to simplify the picture and think about how to use four colours to represent these five groups. I decide to use black for the background as well as for the man in the foreground. I cut out a rectangle that I've slightly skewed to give a sense that he is falling. For his mouth, I will use a red circle that I've exaggerated. Next, I want to use a lighter colour for the sea and ships to highlight the contrast between the men and everything else. I will use a light orange for the sea and a light purple for the deck, ships and a couple behind him. For the sea, I cut out three rectangles and place them diagonally to represent the turbulent waves. For the ships, I cut two purple triangles. For the deck, a purple triangle that ends with two purple rectangles. Once I'm happy with my abstract composition of my favourite picture, glue it. I think it takes a bit of practice to dissect a painting into its limited palette. But when I broke down the scream into a simpler component, I realised that we form strong emotional associations with shapes and colours. For example, I found that it was easy to use the colour red to highlight the man's mouth as the focal point because I think a lot of people share the same associations with red as danger and would therefore gravitate towards the mouth. The intersections of the different shapes also lead my eyes towards the same focal point. It's amazing how everything comes together when you remove other distractions from a painting. Now I know why the scream has such an impact on me and how I can use this technique in my artworks. If you'd like to borrow Picture This How Pictures Work by Molly Bang, you can find it as an e-book at the NLB mobile app or you can use the NLB catalogue to find a physical copy at our public libraries. Library at Orchard is a design library for everyone and you can find many wonderful books similar to Picture This that you might be interested in checking out. You can find links to the resources and more in the description below. Thank you for watching this episode of Book It Up. See you again soon!